Hi, my name is Alexis Kozak, and this is from my solo play, Alyosha, or My Father Told the Russians Everything. The Russians have really long, complicated names. For example, I would be Alexei Alexeyevich. It's a patronymic, meaning that the second part of the name shows who the father is. So I would be uh, Alexei's Alexis, so to speak. My name in Russian is Alexei, Alexei, Alexis. The nicknames for Alexei are either Alyosha or Sasha. But you can only be one or the other. You can't be both. Either Sasha or an Alyosha. I'm an Alyosha. Alyosha. My mother's family could never pronounce it. Alyosha. It came out as three syllables instead of two. Alyosha. It drove my father nuts. My best friend growing up, Mac Rabawi, he just glossed over the whole difficult part of it and just called me Ayasha. Eventually, my mom's side of the family just shortened it to Ali. Ali. Because Alexis isn't bad enough name for a boy to grow up with. You know the Johnny Cash song, A Boy Named Sue, right? You know how that ends, right? Uh, George, given the name George or Bill or any damn thing but Sue. So I did both of my sons the favor. I named one Yorgos Alexis and the other Alexis Aristotle. I mean, why should I be the only one that has to suffer? So, no shortage of nicknames. Alexei, Alexis, Alyosha, Ayasha, Ali. My father called me Jose. <laughs> Jose Rodriguez, if you want to know the whole thing. I remember the day it happened. I was like 10, maybe 11 tops. He just called me Jose. Come here, Jose. Out of the blue. And I was like, who's Jose? He's like, you are. Like, it didn't need an explanation. Like, it was somehow self-obvious. And while I didn't understand it, I knew it wasn't good. It wasn't a, a positive. It wasn't his way of saying, hey, you know what? You're doing great. I love you. I'm so proud of you. It was more like a, I'll call you Alyosha when you deserve it. I literally had the man's name. I was his namesake. I was Alexei Alexeyevich. And he, he literally didn't even want to call me by his own name. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's not true. I mean, I get it. I get that, for whatever reason, he was too embarrassed, what, disappointed, angry, unsatisfied, self-loathing, self-conscious, self-disappointed, but I was so young to call me by his own name, by his own name, and in instead would rather call me by the name of some mythic character that was created out of some kind of clay of disdain, some marble of disgust, embarrassment or self-disappointment. It got especially bad during tennis. Did I mention he was training me to uh, be a professional tennis player? I'd miss a shot. He'd be like, God damn it, Jose! You break that goddamn wrist or I'm gonna break it for you! People are looking around the tennis courts like, Jose? I still call myself Jose when I'm playing sports. When I screw up a, a shot or a kick, under my breath, I'm like, come on, Jose. That's when I know I'm in a bad state. It's like, Jose's like my tennis alter ego. My brothers still call me that sometimes, I don't know. Eventually, we ended up in high school with a kid named Jose Rodriguez, 
and sometimes we would drive him home from practice. And sometimes when my dad would say, hey, Jose, everybody in the car would turn around and answer.